Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fab day. So this is my June unboxing. I have got my June subscription boxes to show you. Um, I'm going to kind of do them all in one video because otherwise I just end up with loads of really short videos. So this will have a little bit more content in it. So I've got Birchbox, I have got Rockerbox, I've got Look Fantastic and I've got a new one for this month which is a lot more expensive. It is a very luxurious, more of a luxury beauty box. It's the minted one but I wanted to show you guys what I got in it as well. I'm just sort of trialing it out to see what I think. So I'm going to kick start off with Birchbox first. So quite a few of the boxes this month have gone down a travel theme, um, which is quite cool because it's summer and lots of us are going on summer holidays and things like that. Um, so I love the birch box this month. It's um, kind of all these pictures in a little bit of a like mosaic -y pattern. Um, I do believe it is being done by Paper Chase, um, if I am correct. Yep, Paper Chase, um, which is really cool, really cool design. These are really nice boxes to keep. I've seen some awesome designs that people have made things out of them, like little jewelry boxes and makeup boxes and things like that. Um, so really really handy boxes to have. Um, if you've not tried Birchbox before, it is a smaller beauty box. It comes in at £12.95 a month um, and you get more of a kind of smaller sample size product in there. But it's one of my favourites. I've been enjoying them. Um, I've had them for most of this year. It's the first year I've tried them. But I've been really, really enjoying it so far. So in our June box, the first product that we have got is this by Rituals. It is the Ritual of Karma. Um, what is it? Is it a body lotion? They normally say on it. Oh, it's a body cream. Um, rituals are really nice, their products are usually really good. You tend to get them quite a lot actually in beauty boxes, which is um, quite surprising. Um, let's have a little smell. The last body lotion that I had from them was gorgeous. Yes, this smells absolutely lovely. It's a beautiful, fresh scent, lovely for summer. Um, so yeah, that's a really nice product and it's a really nice size as well. It's um, 70 mils, so quite a big sample size really. Next up is an eye mask. Uh, this is by Wonder Beauty. I've never heard of them before. I do like an eye mask, but they're not something I usually go out and buy, so I quite like getting them in a beauty box because um, I do like using them. They're really good for on planes as well because um, you can pop them on and they're not too kind of in your face, like people don't really notice you've got them on, you don't look silly or anything, but they really help with your skin because the planes are so dehydrating. Um, so yeah, really, really handy to take away with you. Or if you're going on holiday, they're just nice to take with you. Um, next up, we got this by Laritzia Cosmetics. It's a lipstick, not as in a lipstick, it's like lip and then stick. So I'm assuming it's like a lip pencil. Um, so a little look. Oh, it's like a lip crayon. I really like lip crayons. Um, and it's a really nice colour as well. It's like a deep a deep burgundy red, which is kind of the colours I love. I love reds and dark colours, uh, definitely more than I like neutral colours. So that's really perfect for me. Again, I've not heard of that company before, so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Um, next, we've got this from Benefit, and it is the Gimme Brow. Now, I... I've got a bit of a thing when beauty boxes put this kind of product in because everyone is so different and they never tend to get the um, colours right even though we do the little questionnaires. Like this is warm golden blonde so I'm never going to use that ever because I have really dark hair so it's not going to suit me at all. Um, so I just wish that if they put brow products and things like this in that are colour specific to someone that they even matched it to our questionnaires so that we got some things that suited us or they just didn't put them in because they just get wasted and people are never going to use them and I really wanted to try this but like that is so so light brown it just looks silly um so but anyway that's from Benefit and um, if you are lighter um hair coloured or anything like that you'll probably really love it it's a beautiful little sample size really tiny but great for taking away with you and um, I don't know if they had different colours or if they've just gone for like a medium who knows um but that is the Benefit Give Me Brow and then our last product in the Birch Box is this by Balance Me and it is a fresh, uh, no it's not, it's a flash cleanse micellar water. Um, micellar waters are great, use them all the time, especially in the morning when I just want to refresh my skin. This is a lovely travel size as well, so great for taking away with you. It's 30 mils um, and you could also refill the bottle if you wanted to afterwards, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, Birch Box quite impressed and um, do like it's not one of my favorite ones they've done not so impressed about the brow product i wish that they put something that would suit everyone because i'm not going to use that but overall a really good box right so next i'm going to do a rocker box rocker box is quite a core cool, and um, beauty box i've only recently found it but i've really been enjoying it it's 10 pounds so a really good price um it comes in a recyclable box every month so you don't get 
kind of packaging around a box that then you can then keep this is the box the stuff's in it and then you can recycle it so that's really cool for the environment and um, really really like that so you get your little information sheet like you do with most of your beauty boxes so the first product that we have got i think this is just like a bonus but it is ted baker their sweet treats perfume samples um so it's the ones where you peel them off so that's really cool just to be able to try the perfumes out before you buy them but i do think that's um part of the box i think that's just like a little bonus um which is really cool so the first product that we have got is the uh urban vida uh reviving exfoliating facial polish um a nice little travel size I don't use uh, facial scrubs and polishes half as much as I probably should do. I always forget to use them. Um, so I'm going to pop this in the bathroom and actually use it because I think it would do my skin some good. Um, it looks really cool. Again, I've not heard of this company, but I have found in Rockerbox that they tend to use brands that I have never heard of. It is a very, very good way of um, finding new products and finding new companies. Um, occasionally there are things that I've heard of before, but a lot of the time they are brands I've never heard of. So that's really cool about this box next up we have got this by monu skin um, this is a skin perfecting line smoothing combination skin instant blur technology i don't know what that is skin perfector is it like a primer um it's a quite a large tube i'm just not really sure what it is i think it's maybe a moisturizer slash primer let's have a little look so it comes out like a moisturizer um but it feels quite silky and smooth, a little bit like a primer. It smells actually quite good. Um, all it says is that it's a weightless cream that instantly smooths imperfections. So I think it's a little bit of a multi-purpose product. Looking forward to trying that out. It's for combination skin, so it'll suit most people. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting to try. Next up, we have got a beauty egg. Um, basically, it's a beauty blender. It's in a beautiful little minty colour. Um, I feel really bad saying this but I don't use these I don't get on very well with them at all I don't know why I just don't get on with them and um, so definitely isn't something I'll use so I'll, I'll just gift it on to somebody but a nice product most people love these and I really like the colour of it as well this product is a little bit of a smaller product it's a tiny little sample and um, I've actually had this brand before it's Kef Ketafil, I think that's how you say it. Um, this is a daily defense moisturizer for sensitive skin. Again, these are really handy for taking away of you and traveling. Um, you get quite a few uses out of them as well, which is really good. And then next up is this by Nip and Fab. It is a definition stick, or definition stick rather. Um, let's open it up and we'll have a little look, see what it's like. Okay, so the colour's medium, it's not too dark, might be a little bit dark for me. I think this is for like contouring, um, it's quite handy that it's in a stick and I really like the packaging which is quite cool. Again, overall, not my favourite rocker box of all time but it's quite a good box, nice little variety of stuff but they have had different ones that have been a little bit better, um, so not the best one but yeah, it's alright for this month. This next box is Look Fantastic, and this is always one of my favourite subscription boxes. Again, I've not had this very often, um, I've only kind of started this year, never had it before, um, but love it. It's definitely one of the best boxes um, for this kind of price range. This one comes in at £15, so it's a little bit more than some of the other ones, but you definitely get some larger products in there. So again, this has gone for a bit of a travel theme this month. We've got a map on the front, um, it's all to do with travelling. You always, every month, get a copy of Elle magazine in there, which is really nice. Um, so you can sit and have a little read of that, which is really cool. You get your information booklet, um, which has sneak peeks, information about how you can use products and um, articles and things a really good read actually I quite like reading them and um, so that's the bits and bobs you get with the box so our first product this month is a B and um, Bumble and Bumble thickening go big treatment and um, I love Bumble and Bumble for hair stuff I've tried some of their bits before always quite a good brand this is a 30 mils I'm presuming it's like a volumizing spray and um, so yeah that should be really interesting to try out I've got really thin flat hair so products like this are always really handy for me um, then we have got a peeling mask by e cooking um, I've heard of this brand but never really tried them before um, so yeah, it's a skin peeler, um, it says no panic if your skin turns red, <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that, if it does add moisturiser, so there you go, um, could be quite interesting, um, 
gonna have to try this out sometime maybe try it out when I'm not going somewhere the day after because I think it could be quite quite strong it doesn't smell very appealing but then again most face masks don't um so yeah that's by e-cooking a little small sample pot but a nice little size um then we have got this this is by cause um it is a soap i believe it seems to be written in russian or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure what it is it just says soap for oily skin so i'm believe presuming it's a facial soap and it is pomegranate scented and um, I don't tend to use soaps on my skin I usually find them quite drying um, there isn't really a skincare product that I would go for but I will give it a go and see what it's like definitely something a little bit different and again this is designed for kind of traveling all the products in here so it's quite a handy product to take away with you because it is solid so just a few more products in this month's box next we have got a lift Gork Structure Cream? I really don't know what that is. An Ultra Lifting Cream by Phil LaWarga, Laboratories of Paris. Never, never heard of this company. Not really sure what this is. It feels like a very thick moisturiser, quite a heavy cream. Um, so I'm presuming it's just maybe a kind of firming moisturiser? don't know I have to give that one a little go that's a very small size it's just a seven mil tube and then we've got another little tiny mini by BioEffects. this is an EGF serum again not really sure what that is it is a teeny tiny little size and um, so I'll have to have a little read in the booklet to find out a little bit more about that one so the last product in the look fantastic box is this this is an irritated eyelids anti-itching soothing cream um, a very different product not really sure how you would put a cream on your eyelids I, I don't know definitely we're gonna have to do a bit of research on this before I use it it's a bit of a random product but I guess it's good if you're going away and um, it can be quite irritating if you've got hay fever in the summer or if you get bites and things like that but um yeah something a little bit different so definitely gonna need to look into this it's quite a small size it's a 15 mil tube but it does look like it would last you for quite a long time so that's this month's look fantastic box um again not the best box they've ever done there's um, some products in that are really really nice and then there's a few products that are a little bit you know could be different or um, maybe things that aren't quite what I would like um, but yeah it's an alright box a, a medium box I would say so the next box that I've got to unbox is the minted box now this is the first time I've ever tried this box it is quite pricey it's 70 pound a month um, so it's definitely more of a luxury product and a luxury box but I wanted to give it a little go and kind of see what it was like um, so yeah this is my first month of trying this one out it comes in this gorgeous kind of reusable box I like these ones that have the magnet on because they're really useful and I end up using them for all kinds of storage things and stuff like that so I find these boxes quite good I do quite like them so so the first product that we have got in the box is a little information sheet. So this is the little information sheet um, that tells you all about the products. But the first product we've actually got is this. Now this is a lip serum by Verso. I've not heard of them before. It's with a retinol. Now I've not really used a lip serum before. I use a lot of lip balms and things like that. So this is definitely something a little bit different. Um, so I'm quite intrigued to see what that one is like. Um, in the little information sheet it says, if I can find it, that this one is worth £55. So it's a really good price to say that the box is £70. You're already nearly there on value wise. Um, so looking forward to trying that one. Um, next up we have got these. So this is a shampoo and conditioner, um, two little like travel size um, ones. They're Gold Lust Repair and Restore Shampoo. Again, I've never heard of this company by Orbi not heard of them but they sound really nice they look really pretty as well um the full size of these is worth 48 pounds and the travels are worth 19 um so that'll be really useful i'm going to take them away with me and see what i think to them this is a product that i really like i love face masks and this is kind of a little set of four the by anna Ann semonin never heard of her um the daily musk so you get a cream mask an exfoliating mask a mineral mask and a gel mask um they look like this so they're in little pods so the little single use ones which are really good for traveling and taking away with you these um if you buy the full size are worth 44 pounds um, you can get them from harrods and 
the little travel size ones are £25. So I think they're really useful and I like that you get a variety of different masks in there that they're not just kind of um, the same mask but four times, lots of different ones that you can try out. Um, so that would be really good to see what they are like. This box has got a couple more um, products in it. So the next one is a hydrating glow serum. Uh, this is by Gorobi. Again, I haven't got a clue how you pronounce that. And again, it's a company I've not heard of before. So I've there's a lot of um, products in this box that I've not heard of. I've never heard of the brands before. It's a large size. It's uh, 30 mils and looks like this. So a full size product. And this one is worth 34 pounds. Um, I like serums. I haven't really got a hydrating glow one, so that's something a little bit different, which is really nice. And then our last product in the box is these. These are magic strips. Wake me up collagen eye patches and um, I was talking about eye patches earlier that I like them when you get them in a box because I don't tend to buy them for myself and um, these look very nice and luxurious you get five in there so quite a lot in that pack um, and these ones are let me see if I can find it on the little sheet Ooh, it's all back to front. Here we are. These ones are worth £30. So you're getting a really nice value for money in this box. Although it is a little bit more pricey, you're definitely getting a lot of product in there that are worth a lot of money. Um, so looking forward to trying those as well. And we also got a little freebie this month, which is here. Um, this is like a little bonus one, and it is another facial soap. So these must be a bit of a thing at the moment. They're not something I tend to use. Um, I believe this is um, by a company called Argentum. I am so rubbish at pronouncing these names. Again, never heard of the company. Never used really a facial soap in a long, long time. It says for all skin types and it says it's soap free. So although it's a facial soap, it's like a solid cleanser. Um, so I'm gonna give it a go and see how I get on. They're definitely get something a little bit different. So that is the minted box. I was actually quite impressed with it. Um, it is a little bit more money, but if you've got that money there that you'd like to spend, it is definitely worth it. You're getting a lot of value for money in there. The products look really nice, really luxurious, and then nice big sizes as well, which is the difference to some of the smaller boxes where you tend to get more sample size products. So lots of pros and cons there. I think I might try it out another month um, so I can compare it over a couple of months and see what I think. Um, but yeah, that's the minted box. So this month overall, the boxes were not the greatest and um, I like some of the products in there but I did find that there was a few products that I didn't really like but I think you get that most months some months you find things that you love and other months there are things that you don't like they can't be great all the time and they're not going to suit you every single time because they're kind of catering towards a lot of people but it's definitely a good way of trying things out it's a way to sample products and I love that about these beauty boxes definitely my favorite thing about them is being able to try out different brands but I hope you've enjoyed it if you've got any questions just pop them down in that comments box down below i will also link all of these in my bio so you can go find all the boxes but thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all soon bye